Okay, so ang pag-usapan naman natin na substitution technique ay tangent at angle. So may iba sa pang pangalan dito. Yung pangalan ng German mathematician na nakadiscover nito. Okay? So yung goal ng substitution na to mainly is to convert any trigonal function into algebraic algebraic uh, function. No? So the main equation is z equals tan tapos 1 over 2 times x. So from this equation we can uh, derive other equations for sine, cosine, tan x, cotangent x, secant x, and cosecant x. No? So by trigonal function we mean any function that has sine, cosine, tangent x, alam mo na yung mga identities. Diba? So, isusulat ko lang yung mga gagamitin natin ng mga equations. So, since this is a substitution, so, we, when we see, for example, sine x in the integrand, we will substitute it with this value. So, sinusulat ko pa lang. 1 plus z squared. And then, Okay, so sine the cosecant x, cosecant x, 1 plus z squared over 2 times c, and then tangent x, magiging equal sa 2 times z over 1 minus z squared, so, cotangent x naman ay 1 minus z squared over 2 times z. So, isipin nyo na maybe isa ulo nyo lang tong sine x, 2 times z, 1 plus z squared. And then, you remember the inverse. So, the inverse of sine is cosecant x. And then, when you, the inverse will usually have flipped, no? Kung ano yung nasa numerator, nasa denominator, ganun din sa denominator na sign, ilipat siya sa numerator ng cosecant x. And then, pag tan naman, nagiging minus, wala dito sa plus, nagiging minus. And then kapag yung inverse niya, which is cotangent x, flip the signs, okay? And then, lastly, for, for cosine, cosine x, we will get rid of the 2 times z, replace it with 1 minus z squared all over 1 plus z squared. Okay? And then, of course, yung kanyang kabaligtaran, which is secant x, is equal to 1 plus z squared all over 1 minus z squared. So, pansin nyo, na-flip ulit yun. Ano, so, hindi kailangan na full-blown memorization dito. My technique is just to remember this one. 2 times z all over 1 plus z squared. And then, just remember the inverse trigonometric identities. If you need further help, just remember the magic hexagon or the yung pentagon. So, tan, sine, cosine, cotangent, cosecant, and then the secant. And then we have here this line. So remember, the right side will be filled with C's, and then the other one will be STS. And then, may one sa gitna. Okay? So, kami naman videos sa YouTube kung paano yan. Pero, for the sake of remembering these equations, so, Ano yung inverse ng sine? So, just, just look. Itetrace yun lang yung line na yan. So, pag lumagbas ng 1, and then dito. So, cosecant yung kanyang inverse. Sa cosine naman, which is this one, yung inverse niya. When you follow through this diagonal line, I secant. And then, sa tan din, ganun din. So, yun yung ma-inverse. 
uh, from this magic hexagon. So, marami ka pa mabubuong mga identities from this magic hexagon. Usually, mga 3 pages yun o 5 pages kapag nagpapakas ulo sila ng mga identities. But with this hexagon, you will remember and write everything. Including Pythagorean identities. Okay. So, let's try to solve pan sample problem. Remember this. Okay? I-remember nyo lang kung paano natin i-dedicate. Okay. So, bagawa ko lang yung notes. Okay. So, the first problem we will do is the we will evaluate what? We will evaluate the uh, 1 plus sine x the denominator yan, and then dx. Okay? So, the first thing you'll do is to identify. So, may nakalimutan pala akong detail. Yung detail na nakalimutan ko ay yung dx. So, yung dx, yun yung hang mula sa sin x. So, yung dx natin, yun yung 2 times dz over 1 plus z squared. Okay. So, yun. Yun lang yung nakalimutan ko sa mga equation na yan. Okay, so let's try to substitute what we know. Okay, so ito, of course, 1 lang yan, 1 lang yan. And then the sign x, kasi nandun naman siya sa mga given equations sa mga itaas. Siya yung magiging 2z over 1 plus z squared. Okay, tapos yung dx magiging. 2 times dz over 1 plus z squared. Okay? So, try to absorb that first or maybe you can uh, be advanced a little bit. So, your goal now, tapos ka na dun sa process mismo. Yung meet mismo ng tangent half angle, tapos ka na dun. Well, kapag meron kang z, you just gonna substitute tangent on half x, no? But the the process, the main process behind it, you're done by this step. So, your goal now is to simplify this uh, function, okay? So, how do you simplify? So, first, lalagay mo natin ito sa numerator. So, ito yung magiging 2 dz over 1 plus z squared over so ito let's try to bring all of this into one denominator so actually sa elementary okay pinapatakaran na yung ganyan ok so 1 plus z squared and then what would cancel is ito at ito Kasi if you are going to bring it to the other side, mag-flip yung numerator at saka denominator ay makakancel din naman yun. So, let's save space din. Okay, by canceling outright. Okay. And then, ito ay magiging 1, 2, dz over okay, z squared order lang natin, times 2 2 times z plus 1 and then if you recognize it, ito ay isang, what? pwede natin siya i, i shrink into a binomial so ito ay magiging 2 dz over z plus 1 squared 
So ito, pwede mo na lang siya i-use substitution. So, kung sanay ka na, hindi mo na lang lang i-diretso, but for the sake. Okay. So, u equals z plus 1. And then, du equals what? dz. Okay. So, let's bring this down. Okay. Magiging, syempre, conservative rule, lalabas mo yung 2 dz u squared and then bringing this upward okay so magiging dz pala magiging du okay du so ito yung magiging 2 okay, u raised to negative 2 du and then of course, power rule lang yan. So, ito yung magiging u raised to negative 1, negative 1, over negative 1 plus c. And then, it will become, what? 2, negative 2, 1, over z plus 1, which is from here, plus c equals negative of course nilagay natin kung ano yung value ng z ano ba yung value ng z natin so moving up moving up the value of our z is tangent 1 over 2x ok so yan yung goal nyan final step kumbaga. so magiging negative 2 over tan okay plus 1 plus c so from the name itself that's the goal of this substitution okay okay so we will try another problem this time uh, let's try ano, dx sine x plus cosine x plus 1 So, una din gagawin yung dx natin from yung mag give natin kanina. Siyempre, sa substitute mo ka agad. No? So, yung dx natin ay magiging 2 dz over 1 plus z oops 1 plus z squared all over Yung sin x natin, equal siya sa 2 z 1 plus z squared plus 1 minus z squared all over 1 plus z squared plus 1. Okay? Ngayon, tapos ka na sa mismo process. So, let's simplify. So, pag sinisimplify mo siya, okay, so, isimplify mo na natin sa baba. Plus C squared all over. So, kapag sinisimplify mo na sa baba, 2Z plus 1 minus Z squared plus 1 plus Z squared. One plus z squared rectangle cancel. Okay. And then now you'll be left with two dz all over two z plus two. Notice what we can factor out. Pwede natin factor out yung two. Tapos after factoring out, magiging dz over z plus 1 na lang siya. Then, meron tayong identity sa integrals na yung 
well by the way parang shortcut siya no? so dx over x plus 1 no? magiging ln of x plus 1 plus c bakit ganun? kasi kapag u substitution mo siya magiging du over u which is u raised to negative 1 over times du and then syempre hindi natin siya pwedeng i-power rule kasi kapag pinower rule mo siya magiging u raised to 0 siya and any number raised to 0 is equal to 1 by laws of exponents hindi siya pwede gawin power rule so dito magiging ln u siya diba plus c so for the most part yung yung dx over x plus 1 magiging ln of absolute value of x plus 1 plus c okay so tatandaan nyo yan yung ganyan na form parek na lang na ln kapag may kayo nakita ng ganyan diba so dito dahil ganyan yung form nya so yan ay magiging ln of z plus 1 plus c and then that syempre yung z natin what's the goal of this substitution to substitute there the z sa tangent half angle so tangent half angle which is tan 1 half x ok plus 1 plus C. So, ito yung final answer natin. Parit. Okay?